down at the Michigan 12, where it is second down, and Gerald delivers the ball outside to Ron Springs, and he is cut down as he tried to turn the corner. Now, this is what has happened as Ohio State took the kickoff from Michigan, started at the 23. This is a 29-yard field goal kick. It is into a light breeze, and the kick is good. And the Wolverines will finally see the ball. The Rose Bowl and the Big Ten Conference Championship on the line as Clayton takes the kick off at the 10 and comes to the 22. Ohio State is leading by a score of 3-0 as Rick Leach throws the ball. He throws for Clayton, and Clayton sliding and losing his balance. The ball was thrown behind him, first down at their own 39-yard line as Rod Gerald works it down the line and keeps it. And he is shoved out of bounds as he gets it up across the 45, Mike Jolly and Jim Pickens. It is second down and three from the 46 as Gerald puts it up. And he throws it complete to Ron Springs, the second pass that he has completed to Ron Springs in the ball game. And the big tailback gets it across the 50-yard line down in the 47. Double wide to the right, Gerald looks downfield. He's under pressure. Running around now, unloads it to Springs across field. Springs looking for help, doesn't get enough. He gets it back to the line of scrimmage, and that should just about do it. 3.54 to go in the first quarter. Gerald keeps the ball. Gerald is good for a first down to the Michigan 36-yard line. First down from the Michigan 36. Gerald still has the ball, has some room. He has great quickness. He's inside the 25 to the 24, and another first down. Ohio State, Buckeyes leading 3 to nothing and marching again. They've dominated the game. The pitch to Jeff Logan. Logan has some room, and he's down to the 11 before he is popped out of bounds by Mike Jolly, number 16. From the 12, let's call it, it's Gerald. And he's inside the 10 to the 9. Brings his back in at tailback, and Logan goes up to the fullback position, and Rod Gerald wants to throw. He is under pressure. He is gone. All the way back at the 18-yard line, and number 95, Curtis Greer, was the man who got him. But number 55, Dale Keats, and number 77, Mike Turgovac, were the people that chased him in that direction so Greer could get him. I'll tell you, Gerald is really a dangerous guy back here. He can scramble out of it, but this time they kept him contained and, of course, saved a big play. Ohio State has had the ball except for four plays the entirety of this first quarter, and they lead 3 to nothing as Gerald comes around on the option. Well, he gambled and got away with it as number 87, William Jaco, comes over to cover... This is a good call, I think, on the part of Ohio State. Michigan had to deploy into a pass defensive type coverage, and they thought they'd be able to get outside on the option, but the Wolverines defended well and came up and recovered the ball. Ohio State recovered. Here it is. 42 yard field goal try. No good by Anakieski. And so he just simply has not been effective at that range this season. Third down and eight. And Rick Leach back to throw. Gets it off, and it is complete. To Clayton. And Clayton, who has been the leading pass receiver for Michigan all season. Beautifully executed. You see Ralph Clayton, number 22, comes up the field, turns back to the inside. It's really a deep route. And Leach puts it right there. And he's between the defenders, beyond the linebackers, and in front of the secondary. And that is a big play for the Wolverines. Of Ohio State. Leach gives to Huckleby. Huckleby to the 45 of Ohio State. Can really be a bother, but he so far has looked all right. He's got the ball. And he dives trying to reach for the first down. He runs into Tom Cousinaw, the junior linebacker from Fairview Park, Ohio, and he is close to the first down. This is Tom Cousinaw. He's a real football player. This guy is the number two tackler on the team, and he missed a couple of games. If you recall, he got hurt in the Oklahoma game this year and only played two and a half minutes. Second down. And let's call it six from the 38. Leach gives the ball to Huckleby, and he is immediately belted. He... Leach to throw. Throws short, 
to the 30. First down, just inside the 30 to Doug Marsh, number 80, a sophomore from Akron. Looked like uh, the Buckeyes were trying to put pressure on. Here you are with Doug Marsh, a tight end, coming across. He's wide open. Either the man that was involved in man-to-man -man coverage lost him somewhere along the line. The ball was a little low. Had he been able to throw it a little higher, I think he would have gotten additional yardage out of it. Wilner has kicked three field goals this year. He misses badly on that one. Ohio State really came flying in to put the pressure on him. The hole did not look too good. Second down and 10 from the 20. Darrell hands it off inside to Jeff Logan, and Logan wiggles his way up to about the 34-yard line, running in heavy traffic. Jerry Meter coming across to help on the tackle for Michigan. It is third down and six, and Charles Hunter is number 89 in the ball game. He just missed that pass a moment ago. The ball's loose. That's the second time that Gerald has tried to unload the ball in heavy traffic, and for the second time, he is very lucky not to lose it. Messing up the play. Boy, he was really fortunate on this. His judgment here, he deals the ball up, and there's as many Michiganders there as, uh, as there are Buckeyes. Wow, well, he team. actually hit uh, a Michigan man in the back with it. Yeah, uh, that's number that's 16, uh, Jolly. Ross. Uh, that's right. Jolly, my nice job. All right, here's the punt now with Oris doing the kicking for the Buckeyes, he having uh, shaken off a back injury. The kick Look goes out. to Dwight Hicks. Oh, and he almost got to the sidelines for the picket. Gene White is in motion to the open side of the field, and Leach gives it to Smith. And he's just close to his first down. He is stacked up by Paul Ross and Gary Dulin. Smith. Like I said, he's dangerous. He goes to the 29 for a first down before Ray Griffin, the safety man, can get him. Second down and eight. Leach wants to throw it. Looks at Clayton. And time runs out. Let's watch him. Well, what happened? Uh, Leach had to scramble out. You can see Clayton comes down. He's bumped to the inside by the defense. You can see that he has a little seam there. But I think it was about this time that Leach had to scramble out to the far sideline. It is third down and 12. Leach loops it up. Smith's out there. Got it. Inside the 10. First down. Only Arkansas has allowed fewer. One. Leach gives it. Davis. He's to the one. It is Smith. It is touchdown Michigan. 120 to go in the first half. Rose Bowl in the conference championship on the line. The ball is hooked over to Ron Springs. And the Ohio State tailback brings it out to the 30 feet. As Rod Gerald goes deep to throw. He throws it short. It goes to Springs. That's a third pass that Springs has caught from Gerald in the game. And he runs out of bounds, stopping the clock with 23 seconds to go. First down. Rod Gerald throws it over the middle. The pass complete to Jones. Herman Jones going high to make the reception between two Michigan defenders. Kievsky in to try a field goal. The ball will be put down at the 39. That is a 49-yard kick. He has never made one from that distance. He will not make this one either. And so with six seconds to play in the first half, Michigan gets the ball back. Six seconds remaining, and that's exactly what they do. As Rick Leach takes the snap, runs out the time. And at the end of the first two periods of play in the 74th meeting between Ohio State and Michigan, the Wolverines lead the Buckeyes by a score of 7-3. to three. Rick Leach, the quarterback, gives it to Smith. And he runs right in between a couple of Buckeyes and gets two yards, maybe three, out of the play defensively now for Ohio State. Stevenson in motion. Leach looking to 
somebody to help him. He's got room on the sidelines, and he's got a first down for the Wolverines up near the 34-yard line. As Leach gained 12 yards to give the Wolverines a first down. Russell Davis over the right side, running behind Geisler and Zara and Kuzanov, makes the tackle. I will Anderson hits it. Snap is back. Kick is away. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you. A cannon shot by Anderson. Sends Guess all the way back to the 10. And the Wolverines get him at the 16. It was a 52-yard kick. Spring. Fumble. Michigan gets the ball. Steve Graves knocked the ball loose. Number 54, and Simpkins got it. Leach keeping. Inside the 10. White in motion. Davis the fullback to the three. It's right here. You see the left guard, Donahue, come across. They give the ball to Davis, and he springs through there with quickness and speed, and he's down to the three or four yard line. Leach. Touchdown. Leach runs the option. He fakes the ball to Davis up the middle, comes on down the line, gets quick blocking from the left side of the Wolverine offensive line. You can see Leach now makes a good move there. Starts in. Now he cuts back and dies for the goal line. You see where the ball he extends out. The ball does cross the plane. And He hammered it. Griffin will bring it out. Ray Griffin runs into trouble up around the 15-yard line as Wilner, the kicker, came down to get a piece of the action. They're both wide to the open side of the field as Rod Gerald comes down the line on the option, gives it to Ron Springs, and Springs hammers. And they may be forced out of their game plan and put the ball in the air to go the long way. Second and four, it is Springs. He's got the first down as he runs it out to the 28-yard line with Paul Campbell in there at fullback blocking for him. Okay. Y'all join us for a little holiday fun out of Lubbock, Texas. Rod Gerald down the line, caught from behind by the middle guard, Steve Graves, who is having a heck of a ball game. He comes wide to the right for Ohio State. Gerald sets up to throw it. Goes the other way with it, and the pass is complete to William Jaco, a big 6'5", 248-pounder from Toledo. As Jaco just releases outside. They have the slot back going right down the middle, and you can see the lead is just right. He jumps up and catches, makes a good catch of the ball. And it's first down at the 42 for Ohio State. Ball goes for Harrell. He's wide open. First down, Ohio State. The corner man didn't get enough of a piece of him. He doesn't even touch him here, and he goes right up the sideline. You see Harold comes right up the sideline, and Gerald finds him. Good throw, but it was a defensive error. And Gerald going along the line is going to keep it. And pay for it. Full house backfield, and Gerald is caught behind the line of scrimmage. It is 95, Curtis Greer. And that's got to be about four, maybe five solos for him in the ball game. And so there's a loss of two yards. Back to the 14. Gerald coming around with it. Gives it away this time to Logan, and Logan is cut down by Jolly. Rod Gerald in trouble. Tries to throw it away and can't do it. Yeah, but that's character on both teams. Ohio State drove the ball from their 15. Here we go. It will bring the yard deep in the end zone. Gets a good move there. Gets away from uh, Ohio State tackler at the 15 and brings it out to about the 22. The Wolverine defense being tested one more time as Joe gives the ball to Jeff Logan. And Logan getting a good block on the left side of the line. Goes hammering through there, running behind Chris Ward and Mark Lang. Campbell is hit behind the line of scrimmage. 
Here's Simpkins, the leading tackler, has had a sensational year. The guard pulled to block the end, and he came right through that gap, and of course, prevented the first down and forced a tough situation and decision for the Buckeyes. This is from 42 yards. No. So Ohio State is turned away by the Michigan defense at 3.07 to go third quarter. And down eight. Leach throws. It is good to Clayton. And nice. nope, he is out of bounds when he made the catch. On third and eight. Russell Davis is pulled down at the 24-yard line again by Dave Atkins. John Anderson will punt. My guess is deep for Ohio State. Look out. Kick is away. High hanger. Allegro. And Joe Allegro gives Ohio State good field position. First down for Ohio State. They're 44. Gerald wants to throw. He can find no one to throw to. And he runs from the 44 out near the 48. Outside the springs. First down and then some. Come out of the end zone without a touchdown. Rod Gerald on third down. Throws it over the middle to Ron Springs and a saving tackle. He was almost gone to the corner. And five. Outside springs. To about the 11, they're going to be looking at third and two. Logan in motion. Gerald hands it. No, gives it outside to Jeff Logan. He dives for his first down. He is shoved out of bounds by Pickens again. Fourth and one from the 10. Campbell spins and falls forward, and it's very close. He was hammered by Mel Owens. It looked like Owens right at the line of scrimmage, but he spun. Now it's a question of how much progress they give him they will measure. I'll tell you this, uh, Mike Jolly doesn't think they made it. He's jumping up and down, thinks it's going the other way. They didn't make it. Wow. Just inside the 15. Leach gives it to Roosevelt Smith. And he's got the first down. First down for the Wolverines from the 22. Leach to Smith. They'll give him right near the 31. Number one. Here comes the ball. Right. Russell Davis across the 40 to the 41. Byron Cato. Made the stop from midfield. Option, Leach. They get him short of the first down as he drops at the 46 of Ohio State. And now the Buckeye defense forcing Michigan to punt. Gerald will throw. Puts it to the sidelines to Harrell, who slips down up around the 15. That'll be about a five-yard game. Throws pass over the middle. Harrell. First down, Ohio State at the 35. John Anderson dropping back, made the stop. Hey, that was one of the few times that Harrell's had that kind of time to throw the ball. Harrell just goes right straight up the field, gets deep in behind the linebackers, crosses clear over. Now you can count the amount of time. Gerald's got a lot of time. He delivers right there, and that was a big play. 6.45 to go in the game. Gerald will throw it again. Throws it short to Springs. And Springs squeezes a little bit out of it. Gets it up to the 45. That's about a yard short. 5.45 to play. Gerald to throw. He's got a couple of men open, but runs it up the middle. He's got a first down at the Michigan 35-yard line. And it was John Anderson that got just a little piece of him. Double wide to the open side. Gerald rides it off, keeps it. Now delivers to Springs, and Ron Springs runs hard, gets nine. Digs in. Pitch to Springs. First down. Springs still oh, going. Look at here. Down the sidelines, and right at the 
Let's see where they put him out. Paul Campbell threw a heck of a block for him. Boy, he sure did. The fullback leading. He just pitches the ball out to Springs. They wall off the inside. See if we can see Peyton gets a great block. Or Campbell, I'm sorry, gets the great block. Springs avoids a tackler, and he's sprinting down the sideline. With four minutes to play in the game. Ball is loose. Michigan's got it. Another look at another big defensive play by Michigan. Gerald is running the option. Look at Anderson comes in before Gerald can deal the ball off. Makes the contact, shakes the ball loose. And of course, Michigan recovers, and what a big play for the Wolverines. I'll say it again. The Wolverine defense has been spectacular. Maybe. The adjectives becoming more pronounced as the day wears on. When you look at the scoreboard up there, and there's only six points and two field goals, mm. and the number of times that Ohio State was inside the 20-yard line, it's an incredible defensive performance. 3.58 to play in the game. First down, Michigan at their 18-yard line. 14 to 6, the Wolverines lead it. Big play here. Davis is short of the first down. First down, just short of the 35. Gerald. Look out. The Ohio State quarterback runs for the first down. Takes it out to the 47. Gerald to throw. Throws it short. Spring. Cut down at midfield. Fourth down for Ohio State. Three yards to go for a first down. The Rose Bowl may be riding on this play. Ron Spring will not get the first down. The Michigan defense pushes him out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. It was John Anderson's side of the field, and he made the play with help from Ron Sipkin. 